Hi, I'm Elaine. Welcome to Top Tip Tuesday on my Stamp with Elaine Facebook page. When it comes to masking, there are two ways of doing it. And today I'm showing you just one of the ways, If particularly if you've got a punch already. And we have the Tulip Builder Punch, so you can always punch an image from the Tulip Punch and then mask. Now you'll notice that uh, when you punch something from a stamped image, there's a little uh, white line all over it. So uh, you just need to remember that if you want to stamp another tulip behind that one, you've got to align the white portion against the stamped image and then stamp again. The reason why it's left a gap is because I use Whisper White cardstock and that's quite thick. So I should have done it with a post-it note. So let's try that again. Should have put it on a cushion. I forgot, it's a photopolymer stamp. <laughs> there, that's better. So if you have a punch that you can punch out the uh, image with and you want to stamp behind um, the tulip, then you need to remember to just scooch your post-it note punched out tulip a little to the left of the image or to the right of the image. Let's do this side as well. Thanks for joining me and I'll be back tomorrow with another project. Bye!